For this lesson, I'm going to cover securely wiping a USB storage device. There will be times when data must be securely deleted from a storage device to prevent the recovery of sensitive or secret files. Simply deleting files is not sufficient to remove file data because when a file is deleted from a storage device, only the pointer to the file location is removed. And the master file table, known as the MFT, which stores the physical location of the files within the file system, is updated to reflect the free space. The MFT is a separate structure contained within the NTFS file system, and it's not the recycling bin. The actual information may still remain on the computer even if it has been deleted from the recycling bin. Therefore, data may still reside on the computer until all remnants are overwritten by new data. In many cases, deleted files may not be overwritten immediately and forensic softwares can be used to recover the file remnants and reconstruct the original file. This is known as data carving. So secure destruction of digital data often requires the writing of useless bits of zeros or ones to existing files to remove any remnants of perceivable data. The United States Department of Defense standard calls for seven writing passes over existing data before they are considered unrecoverable. We can use a tool called ProDiscover, which includes a disk wiping tool designed to perform a complete erase of storage media conforming to the DOD standards and prevent any forensic recovery. So remember, deleted files can be rebuilt from existing remnants that have not been overwritten. Data carving is the process of recovering files that have been deleted but not overwritten. A DOD secure wipe destroys file remnants by writing zeros and ones to the file remnants location. Under DOD standard, it takes seven passes of writing zeros and ones for it to be considered unrecoverable. And lastly, the master file table, known as the MFT, is updated to indicate free space when files are deleted. Now that I'm going to show you a demo on how to wipe the contents of your USB flash drive using ProDiscover. Okay, first go to ProDiscover and run it as admin. Okay, click on cancel. Click on tools menu tab and click secure wipe. Change the disk to wipe to your USB flash drive. And for the number of passes, change it to 7. Click Start. Click OK. So this process may take 60 to 120 minutes or longer, depending on the size of the USB flash drive that you're using. In my case, uh, it took about three hours. Okay, once the disk has been wiped seven times, you'll get this message. And just click OK. Now you want to navigate to your USB flash drive and click on Format. Here you want to change the file system to NTFS. I'm going to change my volume label to Evidence. I'm going to use this for later labs to give you better demonstrations of other things that you can do. And now we'll click on Start. And click on OK. Okay, when you see the format complete message, that means you're done. Just click OK, and that's it. All right, thank you for watching.